the y equals mx plus b formula helps us find the slope and the y-intercept of any straight line so long as we can get its equation into that form. We have to get the y isolated and to the left of the equal sign. In this first equation, y equals 3x minus 2, the y is already isolated and to the left. After the equal sign, we have the term containing x, and then finally we have a constant term. The slope, m, is equal to the numerical coefficient of x. So in this case, the slope is 3. The y-intercept, b, is equal to the constant term with its sign. So in this case, b is equal to negative 2. In the second equation, y is not isolated yet. It has a 2 with it. If y is being multiplied by a 2, we need to divide everything in the equation by 2. And this simplifies to y equals negative 2x plus 3 halves. Now, we're in y equals mx plus b form. So m, slope, is equal to negative 2. And the b, y-intercept, is 3 halves. In the third example, 5y equals 3y plus 7 does not have any x terms. We can still do the y equals mx plus b form though. If we move the 3y to the other side, it becomes negative. And we end up with 2y equals 7. If we divide both sides by 2, we end up with y equals 7 halves, but we can write that as y equals 0x plus 7 halves. Therefore, we're in y equals mx plus b form, and our m is equal to 0. Our b is equal to 7 halves. In the fourth equation, it is impossible to isolate y because there is no y. The only thing I can do is move the 4 to the other side, x equals negative 4, and I have to know that any equation with x equals number has an undefined slope and has no y-intercept. It is a vertical line. In the fifth equation, I have to move my y to the other side of the equals. It becomes positive y. If I move the 2x to the other side, it becomes negative 2x minus a half. The m is therefore equal to negative 2, and the b is negative 1 half.